So here's another home decoration video. I got a new painting from Etsy. I went through a lot of paintings and I've seen that many of them tend to exaggerate on a theme or what have you, but I'm looking for subtlety, something um, more serious. Like let's say I'm looking for maybe a vampire. I don't want to see gore or blood all over it. I just want it something very subtle or if I'm looking for, I don't know, anything. Like I just want it to be very simple. And I went through a lot of paintings until I found this one that just fits in perfectly. His name is, I believe, Michael, but then his Etsy um, name is different. And when I was going through his things, um, a lot of the things that he has, I'm not into. But I found this really good one. It just stood out out of all of them. I mean, mind you, all his art is really nice looking, but it's just not my style. And he had this only one piece that I found, so I'll show it to you guys right now. And this is it. It's subtle. It's not too much, you know, and there he, had, he signed it. The reason why I got this painting, because it really... It's obviously very gothic, uh, but it's just very mysterious. I'm not really sure what's going on here. And the name of this piece, it's La Sebastiana. And there's not much information on why this guy painted her. I think all it said that he painted this piece based on a study of another painting that he had originally done. It reminds me of some kind of underground cult or something. It's just enough of her face that we see with that candle there and I'm not sure exactly what she's doing with that candle too. Maybe she's trying to cast a spell of some sort or she's light. She's maybe in this underground dungeon and trying to light it up. And believe it or not, this was originally uh, different colors. It was blue and black, I think, or some kind of light bluish. And then I asked him if he could, um, if he could like do me another one exactly like that, but in red. And then he said, "Oh, um, if you want, I could change it. Like you know, it'll take me like twenty minutes to recolor it if you want." So then I said, "Okay, cool. If you don't mind, he gave this this painting a new life, a complete transformation." And I told him that I wanted something red. And this is what the painting used to look like. So as you see, um, it's not really my style of colors that I'm really happy that he was able to work with me. The only thing that it took away from this painting is the candle illumination. In the original one, the candle looks very like, um, it looks like it's glowing, it looks like a real candle. In here, it loses its power because of the color, and but it still looks pretty good though. And I've noticed that if I put it like in a shadier, darker area, the candle still does have that illumination going on. And that's that. And this is where I'm hanging it up so far. But I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it there because I am going to frame this piece. It's very small. It's maybe like eight by nine by eight inches or something. But if I put a frame on it, a black one, it's really going to give it more. It'll it'll bring out the color more. I don't know. It'll just give it more style. And I'm working on a few projects. I'm still painting other arches as the ones I showed you before. I have a little bit more time right now. And so there's this bus that I showed you guys um, on Halloween or during Halloween of last year. I got this bus not really knowing what to do with it because I had bought it a bigger one, but this one came with it. It was like a bonus. So the lady that sold it to me, she sold it to me for like $5. I finally gave her a makeover and this is how it, she's going to stay for now. And this is the bust. As you guys remember from Halloween, I wasn't really sure what to do with 
her because her features are really small and it's really hard to work. And this is what she looked like initially, or this is what I tried to do with her. And this is what she looked like originally with no nothing, no no paint. And finally, this is what she looks like. Um, she's not really tall. She's maybe like six, seven inches or something. And again, um, I used nail polish on her. Um, I totally covered the eyes and I gave her um, the lips there. The reason why I used uh, nail polish is because I could always remove it if in any case I want to change it. I know you guys are probably tired of looking at this bus as of you have, who have seen this bus in other videos. But this is it. This is how she's going to be staying. And I'm really happy, finally.